All right, so welcome back to the Little Coding. In today's video, we're going to uh, build a portfolio uh, project that you can see uh, this one, and we can have a contact me form that when you submit this form, it's going to submit it to the Nullify form right here. So as you can see right now, if I go to the submit right here and I refresh, I can see the the message that uh, I sent to this uh, project. So, all right, so let's get started. All right, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any ticket that you want. I'm using Cre Create React app for this project, and if you want to code along, you can go to my description and clone this data project. I'll leave the link in the description. So as you can see right here, if we have an app.js, and we gonna we have a content that we need for our um, application, and this is for the statics, and, and also this one we, does not touch it, so I'm gonna remove this one. So for the index.css as well, I'm gonna remove this. And in here, we need to remove from this one as well. So now, if I go back in here, so this is a hello world. So I'm using with the material UI. So you can, uh, yeah, you can use any plain uh, with Tailwind CSS or any CSS. All right. So let's get started. So so this is the example. So we're we're gonna build this. Uh, component right here. This is gonna be like a profile, a profile. So I'm only for this for simplicity. I'm using only in the app.js right here. So for now, I'm gonna do the diff right here. And for this one, we're gonna have the, the this one is the h1 right here, and then we're gonna name. So for that, I'm gonna import content um, from content. Great, and then we have a P. This is gonna be our description. So we're gonna have content dot description and also content dot name. So right now, if I can do this, content dot name, and if we go back, we can see this is a random name. This is a Lauren text, and then I'm gonna give this class name uh, classes dot info, uh, info container. All right, so and then I'm gonna have the image. Well, with our image is gonna be source, so it's from content dot profiles, and then this one is gonna be profile image. All right, so it's really really big right here. So now let uh, for for now we're gonna do everything into this one, and then we we do style it later. So, and the next thing is we're gonna have another div, uh, which we're gonna have the input field, which is the forms. Uh, okay, the form right here, and then we're gonna have the input. Uh, is we're gonna use it uh, with the uh, with material UI, I'm gonna use text field, and we're gonna have three of this one. So three of this text field, and as you can see at the bottom, and then we're gonna do variant of this one is gonna be uh, outline. I think it should be this one, and there you go. So this one we're gonna copy and paste this one, and we have some label. Uh, it's going to be this one is gonna be full name, and this one is label. It's going to be uh, email address. And also the label here is gonna be message. And we give the name for this one is gonna be name and name for this is gonna be email and then name this one is gonna be message. Message. And for this one are we gonna have a multiple line is this one and then we're gonna have the line number of line for this one. We're gonna do ten of this one. I think it's uh, probably not wrong, so so I think it's, it's multiple line, and then we're gonna have the row for this one. It's gonna be ten. Okay, row is gonna be ten. Now, if I go back, it should see it's not increasing. I think a row with s. Okay, yeah, row with s. Good. So now, if we go back, and there you go. So it's really long right here. So and also. We're gonna do some little bit styling for this one. So each one is this gonna be contact. We're not doing any styling yet, so basically I'm gonna bring everything into this one. 
So I'm gonna wrap this one with a div right here and also we have some image for this one as well. So it's gonna be content dot contacts images and IRT contact image. Alright. I think I spell it wrong. Uh yeah, but with the attitude is we don't want to add the image to the, this one. Alright, so there you have it. So now let's just go ahead and do some styling to this one. Uh, the first thing first that I want to do the styling is to this part right here. So I'm going to give the class name of this one uh, a, a container. Uh, I think it's actually do classes dot container. So this one is we uh, get it from so we can style from this one from material UI use style and then I'm going to do container. What I wanted to do is to min height of this one is going to be 50 VH. So now the image is really big. And then is I'm going to give a class name for the image. It's going to be classes.profile. All right. So and then the profile, we're going to give the width of this one is going to be 50%. Let's see. Hmm. Not bad. And for our container i'm going to give the width of this one only so 60 percent let's see all right and also i'm going to give this play this one as a flex all right let's see uh, i do the flex things right here and now we want to justify this one to center and then align items center as well and there you go it's looking good so in order to put this one in the middle we're gonna do margin gonna be auto so then if we push this one into the middle all right so now we can start our name so i'm gonna give a class name of this one classes dot titles or i can give this one a class name of name and then i can give the class name of this one is gonna be uh, classes.dsc so for the description and for name I, I want to be the uh, I want the text size so I'm gonna zoom for you so I'm gonna name for this one I'm gonna do font size I'm gonna do it 4ms it's really big and for our this description I'm gonna do font size gonna be 1.2 rems and there you go so and now we want to have the container so the info container right here so the info container i want the uh, the max width for this one is to be 500 pixels and yeah so looking really nice okay it's not really nice at all but all right so for this one i'm going to do space between uh, between all right space between so we separate this, this one in between and I'm gonna give um, all right let's see what's up okay I'm gonna give the button for this one below the description so I'm gonna give the button this one is from material UI as well and we can have so contact me which so you can uh, explore and then this one should not be contact me if like if you build a real portfolio but in this for the simplicity because we have only the information of us and I have the contact form that's why I do the boot don't contact me right here so you know you don't want to anyone go into your portfolio and then straight right away contact you right away right you know, they they you can show this one to like you know explore check out my work something like that but well, in our case, it's okay. So variant, so I'm gonna do contain it, and then the color is gonna be primary. Okay, so now it's looking good. Um, so now we have styled this one. Everything is gonna be the same thing as for this one as well. So I one thing that I can do is to I'm gonna give a class name for this one. It's gonna be uh, classes dot container. So yeah, it's looking okay. I think I'm gonna remove the contact right here a little bit, but for the image right here, we can do the same thing with the profile. So classes dot profile. You should not call a profile, but it's okay. So right now we have a 
to same image same this one and all right so i'm gonna give this one of a class name of input every every, every one of this one so class name dot input and then i'm gonna copy this one paste it right here and go about here as well so we have the input so in our input what we wanted to do is to go to display this one as a block uh yep a block let's see okay good so i want the width of this one max width to be 500 pixel as well all right so it's not increasing at all so it's really uh, the way that we do that is we uh, it's because it's 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 because the width of this one is depend on the parent. So I think what I want to do is to have this one instead, and then I can cut this one, and then all right. Let's see. Since this one already max width, so I'm gonna give the five hundred of this one, and I'm gonna give the div. Okay. I see. I see. Maybe I know why the reason, but that's okay. I'm gonna do this one first. Uh, okay, I'm gonna wrap the div around by this one, and I'm gonna cut the class name to this uh, div and not div. Yep, and also the class name to this one as well. Good. So we wanted this one with the full width. So well, it's not really stretch at all. So for the width right here, I'm gonna do width 500 pixel. Yeah, it's 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 good. So 300 pixel, it's 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 nice. So I wanted this one with 300 pixels, and this one, everything is gonna be full width. So yeah, add full width to this one, and now you have a really long this one. Good. So I'm gonna give the margin top of this one, a margin. Uh, top to uh, let's say seams dot spacings to four so we can uh, separate this one a little bit now we have an email for this one as well which is really good and the next the last thing is what I wanted to do is and um, have a button that is going to be uh, submit and then we want to have the type of this one as well so the so type of this button is going to be submit great and there you have it so now we can submit this one if the button is going to be the same uh, as this button i'm going to copy from the contact me and replace it right here and then instead of contact me we want to have to submit so submit and then also yeah see now i copy i need to type it again so submit good so now when I submit, it submit the form, which do nothing. But we want to uh, have to submit this one to where. So for that, um, let's see. So in the form right here, what, we, what I wanted to do is to have some actions that submit to contact, which is this one is in Nellify. So now everything is, is ready and it, it's great. Um, I think it look good, but it's not in the mobile. It's not looking really nice, as you can see right here. So um, I think I'm gonna deal with the response here for a little bit, and then we, later on we're gonna do work with submit the form, uh, the submit the form. So for this one, we're gonna do seams dot breakpoints. So when it's going to down into SMs, uh, to MD, uh, I want to be let's say the width of this one is going to be ninety percent. So, all right, so let's see if I go into the smalls, the MD, yeah, for the MD it look okay, as you can see, but, so when it's going to SM, so when it's going to mobile view, it's look really lame. So for that, when we go into the mobile, what I wanted to do is to flex, uh, the direction is going to be column, so flex direction, and uh, let's see, flex, Direction is gonna be column. Oh, we don't want to do reverse. It can be a column, and there you go. 
So for the profile, for our profile is going to be, we go into profile, and we, when we go to as I'm right here, we can, can increase the width, uh, this one to be 90% as well. So it's not really big, so but okay, it's still a little bit, so I'm gonna give a hundred percentage. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Uh, let's see, okay, I see, because the width this one, we should give the width of this one, it's going to be, so this one is going to be uh, SM, so I'm gonna give the width this one to be 95 percentage. So yeah, so now it's looking really good. So you, one thing that you can do, you can co column this one and, can, and then you can do reverse. So column reverse, so we bring the image to the tops. Voila. And now our, our portfolio is responsive. Good. So now it's the interesting part that you are waiting for is how do we submit this one to get, get the, the, the message in house, we can see the message from here. So the way that we do that is to we go into our form and if you can go into the documentation, it is how you can integrate the uh, form a submission to Netlify form. So I leave the link in the description so you can go and check it out. So the way that we do that, the first thing first that you need to do is to copy this one. You, uh, first, you have to copy this one and you go into the public index.html and you paste it right here. And then the next thing is you need to input this one into our current form and with our current form right now and then we go back to our app.js so we need to input this input hidden and then we give the name for this one as well so contacts so yeah so you can see it right here we have the method name of contact and the method post so right now I'm gonna add the method for this one and post so yeah alright so then you have to push this one to github so which I already done that so and, and the next thing if you have to do is to go into Nullify and and going to create a new site so then you can log in with uh, Nullify with uh, your github account and then you can connect with your githubs and, and then you can choose the project that you that you uh, that you already pushed to your github so this is what uh, the, the the project that we using and at the command right here yarn run build and build directory right here so uh, for the good thing about this one after you make a commit or you push to your github it uh, nullify automatically run this command and already update it, it will update your projects so now i'm going to put the deploy right here so it might take a while. All right, so now our site has been deployed, so you can go to this URL and you can see what uh, our, that we've been building. And right now you can uh, give the name. So I'm gonna give the name, uh, let's say, a random. So let's say, hey, dude, I'm gonna give, uh, like say, at gmail.com. So this is uh, like, a, and then the message, let's say, awesome. So now I hit submit. It's going to go into contact and then now we can get to go back to our site. And now if we go back to find the form, the message, we can go in here and we can go to contact right here and you can see, hey dude, this is awesome. So this is, we have the email and here's the name who want to send. And then this is the message. And also you can config this one with your Gmail address and you can read more on documentation in here. So there will the notification right here, the uh, the documentation and how to do that. So yeah, I think that's it. That's pretty much it for this video. So see you guys in the next video. Peace.